How could a 16th century map possibly depict a landmass not officially discovered until the 19th century? This is the question that stumps historians and cartographers when they look at the Piri Reis map. Crafted in the year 1513 by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis, this map is a marvel that surpasses the understanding of its time. Uh, let's take a step back into the 16th century. The world was in the throes of the age of discovery and maps were a valuable commodity. But among the countless maps created during this era, the Piri Reis map stands out. Not for its exquisite craftsmanship or its detailed annotations, but for something far more mysterious. This map, against all odds, seems to feature the coast of Antarctica. And not just any representation of Antarctica, but an unglaciated one, free from the icy shroud that has veiled it for millennia. How could this possibly be? Antarctica wasn't officially discovered until the year 1820, more than 300 years after the Piri Race map was created. And yet there it is, a depiction of a landmass that shouldn't exist in the knowledge of the 16th century, yet somehow does. This enigma has baffled scholars for centuries and continues to do so to this day. Dive into the depths of this intriguing enigma with us. Unearthed in the Imperial Palace of Istanbul in 1929, the Piri Reis map stirred curiosity and controversy alike. This hand-drawn wonder, scribed meticulously on a piece of gazelle skin, was not an ordinary find. Its creator, Piri Reis, was a renowned admiral of the Ottoman navy, a man of the sea, who claimed his map was based on a multitude of sources. He spoke of maps from the time of Alexander the Great, charts drawn by Christopher Columbus, and even hinted at the existence of ancient maps that had long since been lost to the sands of time. The map's appearance was striking. It depicted a part of Europe, Africa, and most intriguingly, the eastern coastline of South America. What was baffling wasn't its existence, but the precision with which it was crafted. The coastline of South America was not just represented, but captured with a degree of accuracy that was centuries ahead of its time. This was the 16th century, an era when explorers were just beginning to chart the new world. And yet, here was a map that seemed to defy all contemporary knowledge. The initial reactions to the map were divided. Scholars and cartographers were caught between admiration and skepticism. The accuracy with which the map portrayed the Brazilian coastline was uncanny, extending down to the Rio de la Plata. The map even correctly showed the Andes, a mountain range whose full extent was not known until much later. This level of detail was not only impressive, but also unsettling. The Piri Reis map was not just a cartographic marvel, but a riddle wrapped in an enigma. It seemed to echo the knowledge of an era far more advanced than when it was created. It was a piece of history that, rather than providing answers, posed more questions. But the true mystery lies not in its creation, but in its inexplicable accuracy. As scholars pored over the Piri Reis map, they discovered anomalies that defied the era's knowledge. A closer look at this centuries-old parchment unveils more mysteries than it solves. The most baffling details lie in the map's depiction of the South American and Antarctic coastlines. The precision of the map's portrayal of South America is uncanny. The coastline twists and turns in a manner that mirrors modern satellite data. The rivers, inlets and bays are depicted with such accuracy that it's hard to believe that this map was drawn in the early 16th century. Even more startling is the map's depiction of the Antarctic region. The Piri Race map portrays Antarctica as a landmass free of ice, a site that hasn't been seen for thousands of years. This detail is not just baffling, but downright inexplicable. How could Piri Race have drawn an ice-free Antarctica when the continent's icy cover has been untouched by the human eye for millennia? The precision of the Piri Race map is not a matter of simple approximation. It's not an instance of a well-meaning but misguided cartographer taking liberties with his work. No, the details in this map are too precise, too accurate to be dismissed as mere guesswork. The map's depiction of the South American coastline aligns with modern satellite data to a degree that is simply uncanny. What's more, the map's portrayal of Antarctica, free of its icy shroud, is not just a cartographic curiosity. It's a geological anomaly. The last time Antarctica was free of ice was over 6,000 years ago. Could Piri Race have had access to information that ancient? 
the Piri race map is a riddle wrapped in an enigma. It challenges our understanding of history, pushing us to question the boundaries of our knowledge. It's a testament to the fact that the past can still surprise us, that there are mysteries waiting to be unraveled in the dustiest corners of our libraries. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the Piri race map, we are left with more questions than answers. The map's baffling accuracy, its depiction of an ice-free Antarctica, these are details that defy explanation. They push the boundaries of what we know about the world and its history. Could Piri race have had access to information far beyond his era's understanding? The question hangs in the air, a tantalizing puzzle that invites us to look closer, to delve deeper, to question the limits of our knowledge. The Piri race map is a mystery that continues to baffle and intrigue, a testament to the enduring enigma of our past. The Piri race map has sparked a plethora of theories, each more fascinating than the last. The theories surrounding this perplexing map are as varied as they are intriguing. One of the most popular is that it's a relic from an ancient seafaring civilization with knowledge far surpassing what we understand about the age in which it was created. Some suggest this civilization could be the lost city of Atlantis, known for its advanced technology and wisdom. This theory posits that the Atlanteans had comprehensive knowledge of the Earth's geography, which eventually found its way onto the Piri Reis map. Yet, there are those who argue for a more terrestrial, albeit still extraordinary, explanation. They propose that the map's remarkable accuracy could be the result of careful observation and calculation by skilled mariners and cartographers of the time. These scholars point to the intricate detail of the Mediterranean and Aegean seas, areas well explored by the Ottoman Empire, as evidence of this theory. However, the most tantalizing theory of all ventures beyond our planet to the realm of extraterrestrial involvement. Proponents of this idea argue that the map's accuracy, particularly its depiction of Antarctica free of ice, could only have been possible with a bird's eye view, something unattainable in the 16th century. Yet, despite these captivating theories, there is no consensus. The map's origins and the source of its extraordinary detail remain subjects of debate among scholars. Is it the product of a lost ancient civilization, a testament to the prowess of bygone mariners, or evidence of extraterrestrial involvement? Or perhaps is it a combination of these, or something entirely different? These theories, each with its own set of tantalizing possibilities, only add layers to the mystery. They invite us to question, to explore, to delve deeper into the enigma that is the Piri race map. Yet the Piri race map remains an enigma, its secrets veiled in the mists of time. The Piri race map, a testament to the advanced cartographic skills of the past, or a beacon of a mystery much grander. As we draw to a close, let's revisit the intriguing journey we've embarked upon. We delved into the discovery of a map that was lost, only to be found in the most unexpected of places, the Topkapi Palace in Istanbul. This was no ordinary map, but the Piri Reis map, a cartographic masterpiece from the early 16th century, named after its creator, the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis. Our exploration then took us into a detailed analysis of the map. It is a piece of parchment that presented an eerily accurate depiction of the world as we know it today including the Americas, Africa, and even the elusive Antarctica free of ice. This was centuries before such knowledge was commonplace. It's as if the map was trying to tell us something, whispering secrets from a time long past. We pondered over the theories that have sprung from the map's existence. Some believe it to be evidence of an advanced ancient civilization, perhaps even extraterrestrial involvement. Others consider it a testament to the forgotten maritime prowess of our ancestors. Yet the most skeptical amongst us attribute it to mere coincidence, a fluke of historical proportions. The Piri race map is more than just a relic of the past. It's an enduring enigma that challenges our understanding of history and human achievement. It stands as a testament to the mysteries of the past that continue to baffle us, a cryptic puzzle that we may never fully piece together. The map raises more questions than it answers. Did our ancestors possess knowledge far beyond what we credit them with? Or is there a piece of the puzzle, a key to unlocking the secrets of the past that we are yet to discover? 
One thing is certain, the Peary race map continues to captivate and confound us, a silent sentinel of a past we may never fully understand.